we have an opportunity with what Rick Grinnell is doing, with a lot of other things that are going on, uh, to reset that relationship, to make it more of a, of a partner type of relationship. And that's really what we want to have. So Mark is a guy who's going to take out Dick Durbin, a guy who's been a part of that foreign policy establishment that has failed the United States of America for decades. How long has he been there? 38 years. 38 years. 38 years. So if you're interested in changing uh, what's happening in Washington, we got to think about changing who we send them. So Mark has been the sheriff in Lake County now, uh, what well, he was the sheriff. No, not, not 12 years. 12 years, the sheriff in Lake County. He's always been a friend of the Serbs, and we're really honored and grateful that he came out today to share some words about his campaign. So let's give it up for Mark Curran. I think a lot of people have recognized that America is teetering on the brink of, uh, you know, a country that we no longer would know. Socialism and single payer health care and destroying the free markets and. You know, uh, destroying what made us special as far as a melting pot, where people come from all different countries and they become Americans. And they they adopt the language and they adopt uh, the values and the culture, and all of that seems to be going away. It's going away really, really, really fast. So this election is about, you know, is America going to last or is it over for America? And it, Serbian Americans and I'm Irish descent. Irish Americans, my wife's Greek, we look for another place on the globe. Because, you know, people are leaving Illinois. I think a lot of people have decided it's over for Illinois. It's not over till it's over. So we keep fighting. And um, I would say you got to get out. You got to notify as many people as you can. If you want to be a poll watcher, you can still, there's time to do that. You know, notify your, your local township, Republican township. Tell them you want to be out there watching for cheating. They're gonna cheat, you left cheat, there's no doubt about it. So we gotta catch them on it, we gotta be vigilant, we gotta intimidate them not to cheat. So lastly, uh, this is a spiritual battle, and sometimes, you know, we can't do it alone, so generally, so we have to look to our Lord.